Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to navigate through tier 5 building and playing quests effectively. The video is based on experimental version of Seven to Die 1.0. The extra info on my setting is here and without further ado, let's get into Today I'm going to do tier 6 infestation at this theater. This POI has a few of trigger spawn so I will use assassin armor set. The interesting part of this POI is at the end that I will show you later. These are my build. Okay, after you start the quest, we will go in through this door. As soon as you go in, there will be one trigger, zombie. Drop from the roof and hit the bomb. Most of the zombie will instantly die, but if it's not, you need to shoot them like radiated zombies. Now I'm gonna go to clear this side, which is a kitchen. Careful, that's a bomb. Okay. Now, there will be zombie on the second level and in this restroom. For run and gun, everyone will run to you so you can run outside and play around. But for stealth build, you can just slowly clear all of them. There's no one in the restroom, I will go up and clear the second level. A lot of cute girls here. Okay, after we don't reset a level, I will go through this way. Usually, I'm just gonna destroy this, like making a good habit. And make it a really clean stealth. Yep. Next, going to be another trigger point, but you can use this door. The spawn. Usually all the zombies will die because of the bomb and has one left like this. Because he spawned behind the vending machine. So he didn't get hit by the bomb. Now another trigger point, just one zombie in that place. It's an accessory, mister. Don't jump. Is uh not okay? He's coming at me. It's a necessary trigger point because that's the way we're gonna go. After this, hello, Mister. Let's clear them. After you're done, we will jump into here and go along the catwalk. Yes, it's tempting to just jump down to the loot, but well, don't do it yet. Go out this way and clear the area. Then, this door will be locked. But we will not go through the door, we will go along this lead to another side. We will go up that ladder, but let's clear wall show here first. Done. For run and gun, you just aggro them, go up the roof and have fun. But for stealth build, I'm not recommending using a ladder. It's it's gonna make your position change from crouching to standing. So better just pull yourself up like this and shoot them. And if you're far enough, you can just use any gun that you want. Okay, last one. Once you step onto the rooftop, you will spawn a lot of zombies. And the way forward is through there, so I'm gonna clear this side first and sweep to the left. Don't forget to clear zombie inside this. I think it's like air conditioning. 
<laughs> ventilation system. Okay, we're circling around to this side. Clear all the zombies outside. Then we will enter this red door and clear all the zombies inside. Usually, I will use ball because I don't want them to wake up. Or knife. Yes. Um, the reason is that sometimes the zombie in here will just wander around and drop onto the lower area, which is block. Yeah, with spike. So, yeah. I don't want to wake them up. Okay, I wake someone up because I destroyed the mine. Go into this area and kill one zombie behind vending machine. They always have one police zombie there. Then go into this area, you will spawn a lot of zombies. Yep. And just clear the balcony. Then we will move to another side. I will clear the upper room first. Don't forget to clear the lower room. Yeah, I'm too loud. Okay. Hello. Done. Now we will clear this area, this side, and we will go through this exit door. Okay. Now go in here and clear zombies. Sorry, I'm littering. <laughs> okay. Now, yeah, let's clear every one of them. There will be some zombie above. They might drop on you. And there also a lot of sleeping zombie. Okay. Don't forget to clear above. Yep. Now we will go down to downstairs. Here and go out this exit door. Okay. Let's Enjoy the show. <laughs> yep, the trigger. The first wave of trigger. Okay. So for self build, you can just run around and remain trying to gain the hidden status back and resume on playing stealth. But for running gun, everyone will just run to you from left side and right side and they drop from above of the stage. So yep, have fun around here. You have a lot of a lot of way to pay around or just read it back to the to the where we came from. For stealth build sometimes zombies can wander around to the front, so be careful. They're just gonna go out. There will be a lot of zombies got blocked by that hatch over there. But usually I'm gonna clear this side first. Once you clear this side, I'm gonna go to clear another side and we'll show you guys something. Yep, they're still stuck under. <laughs> Let's clear this side. Mm 
Okay, one more. Now, oh. Sorry, miss, I wake you up. Now, if you want to clear the zombie, you can just go down here and clear them. By going through this door, you can play with it, it's unlocked. Yep, everyone is want to go up. Okay. Now I'm just gonna clear all of them to show you... Uh, to show you something about this quest. Tier 6 infestation, okay? Yep. Now that everything is clear, if you clear the last zombie there, then your quest will be done. Okay. But if you go up and you loot all things and you trigger this point, this is the, the key that will open the exit door. You will spawn another set of zombies. They will spawn from the right and the left and above and jump on you and yeah but now that you finish the quest you will not have the red dot on your compass so you just need to deal with them <laughs> or run away because your quest is already done but in another case if you do not clear all the zombie like i didn't go down to clear a zombie under the hatch and i trigger it those zombie is the second set of trigger spawn will show on your compass and you will also need to clear them to finish your quest it depends on you because you might feel like it's easier to have a tracker on your compass so you have two options to trigger the key rack before you clear all the zombies or after you clear the zombies, it depends on you. But if you clear all the red dot on the compass, it will make you finish the quest even though you not trigger everything yet. After you done, there will be two exit way, on the right or on the left of the stage. Going through exit door will bring you to the back side of the theater and then you just circle around to your vehicle. And that's about it for this quest guide quite simple and easy so have fun and see you in the next video bye bye